this video is part two of our um, series on factors of factorials. And so we want to find out, answer this question. How many factors of six are there in 50 factorial? If you read part one, then you realize the way we did it was we said, uh, the question was how many factors of two are there? And we looked at how many um, times is two to the first go into 50, how many times is two to the second go into 50, two to the third, and so on. However, that doesn't work for six because that only works for prime numbers. Um, so what we really need to find out is how many pairs of 2 times 3 are there in 50? Well, then you ask yourself the question, are there more 2s or are there more 3s? Well, there's going to obviously be more 2s. So the number of pairs of 2s and 3s we're going to have is going to be dependent on how many 3s there are in there. So really to do this problem, we determine how many 3s are there in 50 factorial. Well, we do 3... Um, 3 to the first, how many 3 to the first are there? Well, we do it just like we did before. We, we decide how many 3 to the first are there in 50. Well, 3 goes into 50 um, 16 times. There's a remainder, but we don't worry about the remainder. So there are 16 3 to the first in there. How many 3 to the seconds? Well, 3 to the second goes into 50. Well, 3 to the seconds 9. 9 goes into 55 times. Remainder 5, but again, we don't worry about the remainder. Then we look at 3 to the thirds. 3 to the third is 27, so how many times does 3 to the third go into 50? Well, 3 to the third is, goes into 50 one time. 27 goes into 50 just once. So, by adding those up, we don't have to consider 3 to the fourth, because 3 to the fourth is 81, and that doesn't go into 50. So by adding those up, we get 16 plus 5 plus 1, which is 22. So the answer to this question is 22 factors of 6 are in 50. Because we know there are 22 twos, so you got 22, at least 22 twos and 22 threes, so you pair them all up, you get a bunch of sixes. Uh, the second problem we're going to look at uh, is similar, but this time we're talking about factors of 8. Well, 8 is not a prime number, so we've got to consider it as a prime. Well, as a prime number, there's 2 to the third. There are three twos and 8. So essentially, we need to find out how many uh, triplets or triples of 2 are there? How many, how many different groups of 3 2's can we have in 100? So we find out how many total 2's there are. So again, just what we've been doing. 2 to the first, well, 2 to the first goes into 100 50 times. 2 to the second, 2 to the second goes into 100 25 times, so there are 25 4's in there. 2 to the third, it's 2 is 8. 2 to the 3rd goes into 100. Well, 8 goes into 100 12 times. 8 times 12 is 96. And so there are 12 8s. See how many 16s? The 2 to the 4th. Well, 16s. There are 6, because 16 times 6 is 96, so it goes into 6. Notice on both those last two there have been remainders, but the remainders don't matter. So there's 6 of those. How many 2 to the 5th? Well... That's 32. Again, this is common things happening. 32 times 3 is, is 96. So there are three 32s. And then 2 to the 6th, that's 64. There are just the 1 64 inside 100. And then 2 to the 7th is 128, so we don't have to worry about it. So the total number of 2s is the sum of these six numbers, which turns out to be... Uh, 87 plus 3 is 90, 97. So there are 97 twos in um, 97 twos in 100 factorial. So if there are 97 twos in 100, how many factors of 3 are there? How many groups of 3? Well, just divide 97 by 3. And that's going to give you 32. So there are 32 groups of 3 inside 97, uh, 3 twos, and so there are 32 eights in 100 and that's your answer the last question takes it even further because it says how many factors of 18 are there in 40 well 18 is uh got three prime numbers but two of them are the same they're um three squared right it's two times three squared well there's a bunch of two so we're gonna have plenty of twos to multiply times the three squares so we need to find out how many three squares there are that's what this problem is actually asking this problem is the same as how many factors of nine are there in 40 exact same answer because we're going to have plenty of 2's, so the question is how many 18's? So we need to find out how many 3 uh, squareds are there. So we find out the total number of 3's, just like we did, and then find out how many pairs of them there are. 
So 3 to the first, there are, um, if you divide 3 to the first into 40, you get 13. So there are 13 3 to the first. 3 to the second, that's 9. Well, 9 times 4 is 36. So there are 4 3 to the seconds. 3 to the third is 27. So there are 1. 27 goes into 40 one time. So there are 1 3 to the thirds. And so the total number of 3s, because 3 to the fourth is 81, doesn't go into 40. The total number of 3s is 18. So there are 18 3 to the thirds in, or 3s inside 40 factorial. However, because we needed to get this, we're only worried about how many pairs of 3s there are. If there are 18 total 3s, there are 9 pairs. So there are 9 18s that are factors of 40. And so it's the same idea again. You, you, you do this. You have to think about it when you've got composite numbers a little bit. What is the question actually asking? Um, if two, there are always the most twos, and then as you go up in factors, there's always going to be um, less factors as you go up prime numbers. So, for instance, if I want to say how many factors of 26 are there, well, I would have to find out how many factors of 13 and, and give me the same answer.